This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Monday, January 27, 2014. I'm Don Paris. The 300 drainage workers sent home last month are still waiting for their pay, and it's an issue the National Union of Public Workers once addressed as a matter of urgency. Speaking after a closed-door meeting with the former government employees earlier today, NUPW General Secretary Dennis Clark said he's surprised they've not received their money. He says the workers are finding it difficult to meet their day-to-day -day needs. These workers have not received any money since they were off at the end of December, and obviously they're out of pocket, they're complaining about uh, not being able to send their children to school. Uh, some of them, their the electric bill, their electricity have been uh, disconnected. So it's a question of they're trying to get some money to uh, look at those immediate needs, including the needs of their children. A university professor is calling for a more holistic approach to Barbados' education system. Andrew Downs, professor of economics at the University of the West Indies, Cayfield Campus, says there's too much focus on academics and not enough on computer and social skills training. He says swift action is needed to stem a decline in skills development. Professor Downs was speaking earlier today at the start of a two-day Skills for the Future conference at the Hilton Barbados. And staying with education, Barbados this is ambassador to CARICOM has been highlighting the benefits of critical thinkers to national development. Robert Bobby Morris says this has elevated the level of national discourse in the country. Critical thinkers are not ones who accept any form of information without subjecting it to scrutiny and contestation and trying to bring reason to any conversation in a self-disciplined, fair-minded way to reason at the highest quality. The 16-year-old Barbadian footballer who's suffering from a rare blood disorder is finally being treated. Joshua Sobers Henry began a stem cell treatment today at the National Institute of Health in the United States, a day after he left Barbados. The College and Paris student who was diagnosed with the disease last year had appealed to the public for financial help. And Donna Russell, the executive director of children's charity Variety, which purchased the airline tickets for the teen and his mother, is urging residents to continue giving their support. Monetary contributions can be made to account number 1259970 at the City of Bridgetown Credit Union. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcome. The Business Minute, every Tuesday and Thursday on this platform. Informative, up-to-the-minute, up-to-date news you can trust every time. In regional news, a national development plan has been launched in the Bahamas to control the increasing national debt. The plan aims to develop an economic planning mechanism for the overall management of the economy. The Junior Minister for Investments says the plan provides a comprehensive overview of the economy, sets policy direction for economic growth, and identifies strategies, programs, and projects to improve the overall health and sustainability of the Bahamian economy. Internationally now, anti-government protesters in Ukraine have ended their occupation of the Justice Ministry. This after the minister threatened a state of emergency. The crisis was sparked last year when the president pulled out of a trade deal with the European Union in favor of a $15 billion bailout from Russia. And that's where we end the 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 tomorrow morning. 
Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,